Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm just going to be ranting and raving as usual. And my hatred is going to be towards a TikTok video. Wow, a TikTok video. I never expected you to rant over a TikTok video, JT. Well, you do now. Well, people on TikTok sometimes become really too ignorant. Um, I guess, absorbed, you know? Um... They think, you uh, know, let me post my opinion and try to state off as facts on the internet. And let me just try to stand out today, you know. That that always happens on TikTok. These people think, you know what, I'm going to make a really, like, uh, unpopular opinion. I'm going to state it out, and then everyone's going to love me. I'm going to get followers, I'm going to get likes, and I'm going to get so much attention. Wrong. You're going to get the wrong attention, all right? This is why I highly, I, I highly... I, I'm gonna say this, please for the love of God don't like try to like post something and try and make it factual or try and like you know twist words up so you look like you're the right person, you look like you're the intelligent person in this conversation because no one's that intelligent in these um, online debates alright. See if you're gonna state a fact on TikTok Please, for the love of God, sources, make the video more than one minute, because I am I have 10 minutes, all right? I have under, like, 300 followers, all right? How come I have 10 minutes and you don't? And don't make so many parts where people have to click on your profile or have to follow you to wait for the next part, all right? You have 10 minutes, all right? And don't say, oh, I can't make it 10 minutes, because then it won't po come on the For You page. That's fine. You will make it a... <laughs> Yo, make an online debate. You need people to look for that video. So you don't need it to blow up, all right? The video I'm talking about today, I'm gonna, let me just show you. Infinity Ward is feeding us propaganda. In a Modern Warfare mission, Highway of Death, we are shown Highway 80, nicknamed the Highway of Death, and are told that the road earned this name after Russian forces bombed it during an invasion, killing anyone trying to escape the area. However, this is a lie. The Highway of Death was a real and very infamous event that occurred in 1991 during the Gulf War. Where do you United States, not Russia, attacked and heavily bombed thousands of fleeing Iraqi vehicles resulting in hundreds of deaths. The reason for why the game incorrectly placed the blame for this event on Russia has caused much controversy in the fanbase, but many agreeing that the story writers are trying to push a pro-US imperialistic message, which if true means that- Yes, that's the video I'm talking about today. Apparently, Activision is promoting pro-American propaganda. I'm not gonna stand here and listen to you badmouth the greatest democracy the world has ever known. Really? Really? A video game company where, you know, the United States has, you know, the news sources, the government has, th they have, like, tore that. They are pretty sure there's lawsuits. President Trump hosted a meeting with video game makers and their critics at the White House today. He was busy. They're looking for ways to reduce youth violence following the Florida school shooting. And the president recently expressed shock at what young people are exposed to today. Criminal simulator, murder simulator, yeah. killer trained on those. He said he trained on them. 69 dead on island in Norway, and he spent a year training on video games to prepare himself for his crime. Against that company, you remember Modern Warfare 2, no Russian mission? I remember that mission because I played it as a kid countless of times. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just a fun shooter game, all right? I didn't know I was got to go in the airport and do something, all right? That sparked so much controversy up. And guess what? Who's ahead of that, you know, you know, that terrorist thing? That was an American uh, a general or something. I forgot. General Shepard? Yeah, I forgot his ranking because I don't really play Modern Warfare games that much. But yeah, that... That doesn't really seem pro-American to me. Um, I, um, I, I, American soldier making special ops do his dirty work and covering it up. That that doesn't seem like pro-American. That doesn't seem like America would do something like that. <laughs> yeah. So just wait until this guy finds out that um, John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, and Fidel Castro didn't stop a zombie invasion in the Pentagon. Gentlemen, lock and load. And then stopped the Cuban Missile Crisis afterwards because it be became a bond, you know? They like, you know what, JFK, 
I hope you don't die in a couple years later. I hope you don't get assassinated. Because I had a really fun time, you know. Um, I had a really fun time killing zombies with you. So let's just throw this nuclear crisis out the window. Let's become friends, alright? If zombies come on your doorstep, I'm going to come straight over there and kill zombies with you, JFK. And I'll make sure we become bestest friends afterwards. That didn't work. Because you know what else happened in real life? There was politics, there was conversations over the phone, there was there was deals made, so there was no more nukes in Cuba, alright? <laughs> alright? Random TikTok user been in here saying like, oh, um, you know, the highway of death wasn't bombed by Russians, it was bombed by Americans, you idiots, you morons, you stupid buttheads, you know, it, it was bombed by Americans, you know, and, and uh, they were trying to blame Russia because this pro-American bullcrap, you're wrong, all right, I'm not gonna say, sit here and be like a Republican saying like, America is number one, we never did any atrocities to any small nations, because I, I know this messed up things we have done in the past, I know we're still working, trying to make a better no better country, but this we're nowhere near as perfect as some other countries. I'm not saying Canada is better. I'm not saying Great Britain is better. I'm not saying France is better. I'm just saying we're the better ones to live in, but the worst ones trying to defend how good we are. All right. Yes, we did do um, bombing a highway, but uh, last time I remember, um, we we weren't the only ones out bombing this highway. During the February 26th through the 27th, 1991, American-led coalition offensive in the Persian Gulf War included American, Canadian, British, and French aircraft and ground forces attacking retreating, retreating Iraqi military personnel attempt to leave Kuwait. So I'm guessing this was a huge military guys who were trying to abandon Iraq, trying to flee the country, whatever. I bet there were civilians mixed up in there. I feel really terrible for it, but saying that this was all America's fault and trying to twist the narrative that America was ta targeting civilians, that is wrong. See, in modern warfare, the, uh, Russia was trying to make sure that no one leaves this country, they gotta make sure this country's oppressed, they gotta make sure no more terrorism comes out from this country. So, yeah, that does sound like a Russia, because I remember Russia was involved in the war on terror, do you not remember that? Or how about, um, uh, let me just refresh your memory, person. You remember the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan? Oh, yeah, that? That ki that uh, invasion that killed two million Afghanis during the summer of 1980? Wow. That doesn't sound very familiar. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, Activision didn't really touch on that subject in the Modern Warfare game. They did? Oh my god, they didn't, they mentioned the genocide and the use of deadly toxin in um, this made-up country. I don't know if it's made-up country. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna try to, like, you know, say that everything's fake in this game. Because I know this game is built on real historical um, reality, it, real events that happen in this game. But, you know, you can always, you can always change, you know, history in movie or game in media, you know. You know, uh, remember, like, um, I'm trying to think of something. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, Captain America wasn't really in World War II, you know. I'm pretty sure he was made up for, um, no, morale during um, World War II. I'm pretty sure Stan Lee kind of made him for patriotic to build... You know, America's morale up during the war, you know? Characters that Activision makes, and they're not real. And uh, continuing on this topic, you know, uh, you know, there's not really a ma many Americans in Modern Warfare. There's a lot of British Special Forces in there. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Because I thought there was this, um, wait, pro-American agenda that Activision was trying to make, but the whole time you play as British Special Forces? What? That's that. That's insane to hear. That's that's weird. You know, there's only like one person, and it was that the um that guy that sacrificed himself at the end. That's all I remember. But Price, uh, the other dude, I don't really remember these guys' name. Farah, and do you not remember when America just told Farah, hey? You know, you rebels that we've been um, funding for you, and we've been fighting against you. Yeah, we just put you on the list 
because now you're a terrorist, and now we're going to shoot you on sight if we see you guys. That sounds like nothing like America right there. That doesn't, that sounds like American propaganda right there, you know? That sounds awfully close as American propaganda. This rant has gone off way too long, and I'm just going to wrap it up in saying this. Yes, there's some historical stuff that happens that was put in the Call of Duty franchise, all right? Modern Warfare, all that stuff. It might have been changed for the storyline. It might have been changed, you know, just to make make it more, more, like, make it seem, like, make it put in a video game thing, all right? So, did America bomb the highway? Yes. Did Activision try to make it so Russia did it, so try to change history? Because apparently Activision has control over textbooks? No. And l let me just say, Activision has put trains exploding and flying airs in Call of Duty games. Them, they put, they put, <laughs> they put red dots on to, in World War II, even though red dots were made long, 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 at, like, after World War II, you know? If you try and use this game as saying, like, you know, that America is trying to use this game as pro-American agenda, they're trying to change history, they're not. It's just Activision using real-life events to change them, all right? I'm going to say this. America's not so innocent in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, no shocker. So, please, for the love of God, don't change the narrative. Don't twist words. Don't twist historical facts. All right? There's way more atrocities that Russia did. All right? I'm not excusing America's atrocities, but Jesus Christ, if it's because the Ukraine and Russia thing right now, and you're trying to be one of those people like, yeah, pro Russia, Z, everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, please don't. You, you people are cringe that you do that. You make edits about people blowing up in buildings and stuff. Yeah, I even disgusted about the people who'd make edits about war when I'm like, even on the American side, all right? So please, for the love of God, don't stand out. Please, for the love of God, don't take your opinions and try to stay as facts. Because this, this is obviously not working for you. Because I have pages of pages to prove you wrong. Because, you know... The Activision is not trying to push a pro-American agenda because they can't really because in the past um, American government has been pissed off as more as times than oppressed uh, impressed about Activision trying to promote pro-American things all right I'm pretty sure America doesn't even care what they put in video games no more because you know they after the whole no Russian incident I'm pretty sure they just gave up on trying to um, limit content of that sort of nature in video games. All right, that's the end of my rant and rave. Um, if you want me to make a follow-up video trying to ex explain more of my details, please let me know in the comment section below. I also, I have a new TikTok posting clips off of this and also a shorts plates. So if you want to look at shorts that I uh, basically rounded up of my YouTube videos, please go check that out. Anyways, please subscribe, like, post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.